What is going on, guys? I'm excited. I'm pumped, actually. I really am. We got Giants franchise. Season one, off season. It's going to be quite a time. Really, really will be. Really should be quite a time. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, I should be live right now over on Twitch. Hopefully didn't take too long to start. But uh, otherwise, I am certainly live. And I have the long-awaited, highly anticipated start of Giants franchise offseason. We're finally to the end of season one. It's just been it's been a disaster. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It's been an absolute disaster for uh for season one. We had no offensive line, we had no run game, our receivers are bad, our defense, our secondary was terrible. Uh overall, this is really not where you'd want to be as a team. So that has to change. Justin, just subscribe with the tier one sub. Justin M237, two months in a row. Appreciate the sub, man. Do I read chat? Occasionally. I do. Occasionally. Um, so that was awesome. Appreciate you on the sub, Justin. Uh, this will be posted on YouTube later. So if you can't stay for the whole thing, if you're missing out on a lot, it's fine. I will try to edit it down later. No real promises. See those hands, 23 also. With the sub, that one's with Twitch Prime. I appreciate you guys being here. I really do. Uh, I think it's going to be an awesome time. A couple ground rules to lay out for the uh, for the offseason here. Um, I'm taking the franchise in somewhat of a different direction than what I've done in the past. And to some people, they're going to like that. To some people, they're going to hate it. It's just kind of the way it goes with these sort of things. You can't please everybody. And now I know, of course, anticipation. What do I mean? Different direction. Um, for season two, I think I'm probably still going to stay on All Madden. They've made some changes because they recognize that All Madden was broken with block sheds and things like that. So they did change that, right? Um, they did change that a little bit. Hold on, I got to edit a link here. So I might start with All Madden, but apparently also All Pro got a buff compared to where it was in previous years. So All Pro might just be the move for a more fun franchise. I'm also no longer going to focus on essentially hyper realism. So I, I have made some trades. I have. Eric Flowers being traded probably isn't the most realistic, but it's something that I did. Um, and I think I'm just going to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more frivolous with some of the moves that I make, and a little bit more, uh, less, you know, hyper realism intense for the sake of the series. I think it's going to be more fun that way to see more players filter in and out, and uh, we'll see how we can really build this New York Giants team. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to maybe hint about some players that I'm looking to move on from. One of them being Nate Solder. He has regressed to a 78 overall. This is absolutely terrible because he started in at you know low 80s and now he's just getting worse and worse and worse. And when you have a 30 plus year old offensive lineman that doesn't pass block well, 71 pass block, doesn't even run block well anymore, 79. How can you say that's gonna be a player you want on the team? Dude, Nate Solder? Nate Solder's a big yikes for me right now. I really don't think that uh, it's going to be something that we see for the say for the future. I really don't think that uh, Nate Solder's going to be here. And I know you're wondering, where is Eli Manning? Yeah, Solder's contract sucks. Um, Eli Manning retired. That's where Eli is. Eli Manning retired. You're not going to find him in free agency because he's not there. Eli Manning retired. So if we go to transaction here, we can probably even see some of the retirings. Uh, Eli Manning was one of them. Eli Manning retired. So there it is. After 15 years, Eli Manning is no longer with the New York Football Giants. 
he retired. Now, I know a lot of you, everyone is so upset because they want to see Eli Manning as the future of the New York Giants. They want to see Eli Manning, you know, carry the Giants out to Super Bowl success. But uh, it is sadly not to be. New Mike? No, I actually, I'm just speaking into it for once. <laughs> um, so who are the other retirees here? Retirees. So of note, we have a lot of a lot of players of note. John Sullivan, Andrew Whitworth, Matt Schaub, Jonathan Joseph, Shane Leckler, Tremont Williams, Mercedes Lewis, Brandon Meebane, Chris Long, Haloti Nada, Jason Peters, Darren Sproles, Mike Mitchell, Ziggy Hood retires. Tom Brady. Tom Brady is gone. Jordy Nelson's gone, as is Reggie Nelson, as is Marshawn Lynch. Donald Penn. And yes, guys, if you didn't catch it, I'm being sarcastic. I know everybody in my entire Giants franchise comment section hates Eli Manning. They hate him. Donald Penn, Frosty Rucker, Derek Johnson, Brian Robeson, hook him horns. Terrence Newman retires after 40 years in the league. David Harris, the former youngest player in the league, 32 years old, flipping around is 23. The best young player in the league. Shout out to you if you remember that reference. John Ryan, Brandon Marshall, former New York Giant. Tom Johnson, Jermon Bushrod, Benjamin Watson, T. Sizzle, Mike Adam, Julius Peppers, Matt Castle, Eli. Oh, we got Cam Wake, William Hayes, Frank Gore, Larry Fitz, Phil Dawson, another Hook'em Horns, Brent Grimes, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Lorenzo Alexander, Kai Williams, John Kuhn, Frank Zombo, uh, and the rest seem to be pretty irrelevant. A lot of things happening there. Let's take a look at the stats over season one. So we can't obviously see what Eli did because he retired. But here is Kyle Lalletta. He was decent in his uh, in his time playing. He really wasn't terrible. He wasn't, which was odd because Eli is just so bad. We got Saquon Barkley averaged 3.7 yards per carry, 12 touchdowns. 12 touchdowns is a good bit. Almost a thousand yards for the rookie. All in all, not a terrible season, despite the low yards per carry. You hate to see that. Receiving Odell dominated. 1,300 yards, 9 touchdowns. He was pretty much like the only guy we could throw to. <laughs> I mean, Evan Ingram had 700 plus yards, as did Sterling Shepard. But that's three receivers on our team that really did anything. Roger Lewis was not good. I cut Russell Shepard <laughs> after one episode. Rhett Ellison had a couple of catches. Uh, blocking... Things were not good. Nate Solder let up 22 sacks. Like, are we serious? John Greco, 13, and he was injured. Patrick Omame, 10. He didn't play all the time. Will Hernandez, 6. Brett Jones, 3. Nick Becton was a disaster. It says 2. He was worse than that. As far as defense goes, Alec Ogletree led our team in tackles. Also tackles for loss. But a lot of this was me using the defensive line. And we had a ton of tackles for loss. So I boosted up CPU run blocking. As far as sacks goes, we didn't get a ton of pressure uh, until later in the year. And then, you know, as we found out better sliders, we actually got pressure on the quarterback and we got a couple sacks per game, which was cool. Um, so OV led our team in sacks with seven and a half. Lorenzo Carter had a fantastic season as a rookie. 75 tackles, 17 tackles for loss, six and a half sacks. Awesome. Interceptions. BJ Goodson led the team with five. I usered a lot, as you know, so five user picks. He had three in one game, or two in one game. Landon Collins had five, three in one game, actually. Um, Eli Apple had four. Yikes. So, okay. So I haven't really responded to it much in the, uh, in the comment section. I know there's this huge meme of guys that love Eli Apple. Okay, I understand that. Eli Apple is a terrible player. He's so bad. If we go to his numbers here, 77 overall. I know he's only 24. 76 man, 69 zone. Nice, I guess. He is so bad. And everyone loves Eli Apple. because You only love Eli Apple because I hate him. That's the only reason. Let's not act like there's you know something going on. You guys actually love Eli Apple. Eli Apple is terrible. All right. He might have to go. <laughs> he might have to go. Force fumbles. We probably have a few of these. Yeah, not like an insane amount, but a pretty good amount. I think we got the fumbles pretty dead on. 
Uh, a couple fumble recoveries as well. And then defensive touchdowns. We actually had a few of these. Landon Collins, Eli Apple, and BJ Goodson. I don't want to hear it with Eli Apple. All right, as far as kicking goes, uh, we were 12 for 17. A big issue of that was uh, I didn't have the kick arc. And I, I hear a lot of people telling me, oh, kick arc's easy. I had, like, I'll give you a couple idiot re remarks that we got here. One, oh, it's already lined up anyway. All you have to do is kick it. I got that comment today. Are you kidding me? What do you mean it's already lined up? Just use your eyes. You, it's not. It's, it's not lined up ever. If you're off the line, if you're onto a, like one of the side hashes and not centered up, it's not centered up. So, and I got another one. People are like, oh, just feel vibration. I'm like, first of all, this is not like, like kicking school with Helen Keller where I have to feel for what I want to do, right? I should be able to see it on All Madden. It's dumb that I can't. I don't play with vibration on. So I don't know. I don't, I can't like, oh, just feel the vibration if you're off the line. I don't play with vibration. I don't know if I'm off. Punting, <laughs> we punted a lot. Riley Dixon, he was a beast. Uh, as far as awards go, MVP was Matt Ryan. And it could have been like Tom Brady. We actually don't know because he retired. It could have been Eli. I don't know. Uh, so we're just going to call Matt Ryan the MVP. NFC Offensive Player of the Year was Alex Smith. It's gross. No Giants. Defensive Player of the Year was Mark Barron. No Giants. Offensive Rookie of the Year was indeed Saquon Barkley. No other Giants. Darius Geis got in there, as did Rojo. Calvin Ridley. Defensive Rookie of the Year was Roquan Smith. It would have been Lorenzo Carter if not for Roquan Smith, obviously. Lorenzo Carter had an insane season, but guess what? So did Roquan Smith. That was so annoying. When I when I was going to look, because I already upgraded the players, I was so mad when I saw that Roquan Smith got it. But if you look at his numbers, like he probably deserved it. I checked him out earlier. He had um let's see here. 107 tackles, seven tackles for loss, two and a half sacks. What am I talking about? I guess two forced fumbles. He did not deserve it. This is bull. This is bull. I, I checked him like it was like a week ago or so. I thought he deserved it at the time. Right? I remember. I'm remembering incorrectly because these numbers are not even close to as good as Lorenzo Carter. He got robbed. So we got 107 tackles, seven tackles for loss, two and a half sacks, no interceptions. We go to the Giants. Let's look at the Giants here. Lorenzo Carter had 75 tackles right on pace pretty much with Roquan Smith. 17 tackles for loss, much more. Six and a half sacks, much more. Didn't force a fumble, I guess. Absolute robbery. Very mad about that. That is rigged. Appreciate you guys being here, by the way. We're, uh, we're, uh, we're nearing that 500 viewers mark, which is pretty cool. And uh, I think I tweeted it out. Yeah, I did. All right. So Lorenzo Carter really should have been the defensive rookie of the year. I think that's blasphemy that he was not. That's absolutely preposterous. So we have we have some interesting options here. Kyle Laletta, Davis Webb as potential quarterbacks for season number two. The offensive line is poor. The receiving core, I know it looks like we have two solid receivers, and we do. I need a third. I need a third receiver, maybe even a fourth. So, ah, Nate Solder, you're a disaster. We're going to make trades. I'm telling you, it, we're not going to be hyper-realism focused anymore. I'm going to trade, guys. We got Terrell Basham, too. Who do we have to re-sign? Anybody of note? So, we have Terrell Basham, who we picked up in free agency. We have Aldrick Rosas. William Gay, Brett Jones, Josh Morrow, Cody Latimer, Roger Lewis, Dante Dion, John Greco, B.W. Webb, Travis Rudolph. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm not going to re-sign a lot of these guys. And we're going to season two with a pretty fresh slate. Guys that I'm going to re-sign, I'm looking at Terrell Basham. He's 25. He wants two and you know 2.27 a year, basically. I'm going to give him... I'm going to offer him a four-year deal worth about 1.5 that's 8.2 overall it's worth 1.5 a year Terrell Basham's gonna resign he's a good player I like his potential 
And he doesn't even have to start. He just has to be a role player. We're not playing him anything. Like, this is a great deal. Khalif Raymond, I have almost no interest in. Aldrick Rosas, honestly, I like what he brings to the table. 93 kick power, 80 kick accuracy. That's not terrible. He's on the Giants in real life. He doesn't want anything. He's 24. I'm going to look to re-sign him for four years as well. And uh, we'll sign him for $13.1 overall. <laughs> Can you imagine offering Aldrick Rosas 20 mil a year? I don't even think it'll let me. I don't know. Uh, we're going to offer him pretty much the minimum. And he resigns. So that's that's money. So yeah, we're over 500 viewers. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to hit that follow button if you're not already. And two, honestly, probably under the radar signings. But things they're signings that I think are important. Um, I want to check out league settings real quick. And make sure that I have a... I also I want to turn it to 11 minutes. That's something I want to change. Scout College Players is manual. All right, we're in business. I think that's going to be playing better. All right, so we're all done here with re-signing and chat mods and stuff. Um, you guys can catch up people because there are going to be people jumping in and out asking about what happens. Just, you know, keep like a running tally of things that happen. I'll catch up every so often. So we have free agency. We have $53 million to spend Let's see who's here. Show me, show me something. Wow. 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 Khalil Mack, the sack attack from the silver and black is sitting in free agency. We have some money to spend. The Dominator, 2480 with the Twitch Prime sub. I'm offering Khalil Mack a giant contract. I mean, why would I not? Why would I not? He's. A, I'm offering him a giant contract. No pun intended. Actually, he didn't. Um, I would offer him as much as probably 14 for a cap hit. I don't care what. I don't care what I offer. I really don't. Like this is this is more than a fair deal. Okay. Um. What would this be? 15, 6.1. That's 147 over 7. That's 108 points. Oh, that's not even close. Oh, it's not even close. Also, I see Kenny Vaccaro down there. Hook him horns. Also, Trevor Williams is here. Trevor Williams would work well. Hold on. We need... I, I'm, in, I'm improving this offer. 12.1 is not even a, like a big cap hit. It's not even... It's not even. Fuck, this is so much money. <laughs> it, it only looks like it is. It's not even that much. He's the best player in the league defensively. In the game, at least. He's a 99 overall. What is this? This is 100. And, I could offer as much as 200. We're going to offer him 18 and 8 with the signing bonus. 18 and 85. So that's 185 million over seven years. That's 131 total points. That just gives us. A, I can't let him go to the Redskins, okay? I can't let that happen. I cannot let that happen. He goes to a rival team. We have the lead here. I almost want to offer more money. I know that sounds crazy. I almost want to offer more money. I think I'm going to. I can't let him go to the Redskins. That's worst case scenario. So I, okay, so I know people are going to be eating me out in the comments. That, that's not what I meant to say. Chewing me out in the comments. <laughs> people are going to say this is way too much money to offer. I, I need to. You don't understand. All right, what, what would I offer Trevor? Really? We have the money too, and I'm going to be like creating cap space. So it's like, we're, we're fine. We're going to be fine for money. Trevor Williams, 25. How about a six-year deal? Worth just under six that gives us that's 109 that's too many points we're gonna we're gonna lower the salary that's 106 i'm gonna i'm down for like 104 how many is this 102 it's not make or break if we get trevor williams or not but he'd be a really good player to have 103 that's where i'm gonna go uh, Kenny Vaccaro here. The only problem with Kenny Vaccaro 
is the Dolphins are really going all in on him. And I love Kenny Vaccaro, but he's 28. He has star development. How do you get that? I can't even check. 85 speed. We have a strong safety. I don't really want to move Landon Collins over to free. I could play him like nickel corner. His, his, his coverage is not good enough. I don't... We're going to pass. Trent Brown is here. Trent Brown. I need to offer on Trent Brown. Quick development. He's 26. 103 points. We really, we really need to sign Trent Brown. You don't understand. We really need to sign Trent Brown. 115. That feels like a lot. We like, I can't even stress enough. We really, really need to sign Trent Brown. This might be the biggest signing almost because it's he's an offensive lineman. We're so weak at that position. Trent Murphy's here. Ty Montgomery. EJ Gaines. EJ Gaines does not have a lot of uh of offers here. Three years, 27. What would this put me? Where would that put me? 94. I'll be I'll be the second team. This is not a lot of money. Four years, 2.5, 185. So that's 17 over four. That's 76 total points. That puts us third. I'm gonna up it up. I'm gonna up it just a little bit. So that's gonna be 18-4. So that's 81 total points. That's where I'm going to sit. If he signs, he signs. I don't think he will. Tyrod Taylor. Everyone in my chat, by the way, right now, I get it. You guys are saying, oh, Tyrod just broke his wrist. That sucks for the Browns. It really does. Appreciate you guys having uh, over 600 people in the chat. Darquez Denard, I have really no interest in. Let's look on the offensive line. Left tackle. Do I have no interest in Dwayne Brown? He's 34. Left guard, the bully, Richie Incognito, doesn't make that much sense. Quentin Spain is getting a huge offer from the Redskins. They overbid so much. Spencer Long doesn't make a ton of sense. Jack Muhort, I think, retired in real life. I'm not going to be offering. I'm certainly not bringing John Jerry back or DJ Fluker back. Former Giants. Left end, Dante Fowler Jr. is here. Dude, I need Khalil Mack. I need Khalil Mack to be a New York Giant. Like, that's so big. I'm going to offer him more money. <laughs> like, look up real contracts in the NFL. This is nothing. That doesn't even change it. I need... I, I want another point. There we go. Defensive tackle. No. Right end. No. Left outside linebacker. No. Middle linebacker. No. Right outside linebacker, D Ford is interesting, but the Redskins, the dude, where are the Redskins getting all this money from? Rashawn Melvin's here. I have no interest. We get Arbabor, a Ar Ar Barbor, one seventeen with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Uh, as far as corners go, I don't really want DRC. Quandre Diggs is interesting, but the Redskins. How are you offering all this money? There's no way. They, they've offered so much to everyone. Eric Reed's interesting, but like not really. Dude, let's go to the top 100 here and just look at the Redskins. 127 points on Khalil Mack. We have... Where else are the Redskins? It's Redskins and Dolphins all the way down. It's insane. David, catch up with the Twitch Prime sub as well. Thank you so much, man. I feel like it looks like I'm blowing this Redskins thing out of proportion. I'm not. It's Redskins, Dolphins, Bucks, Cardinals. Those are the four teams really going crazy. Cray Sandy with the Twitch Prime sub as well. Subs are coming in hot and crazy, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, 600 plus people. Uh, this is awesome. Hit that follow button if you're new. And uh, yeah, um, this is pretty much the moment of truth here. WTIP16 with the Twitch Prime sub as well. Subs are flying in. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. Fuck! God damn it! Why, Khalil? 
Why? EJ Gaines rejects as well. Trent Brown accepts and Trevor Williams rejects. Uh, why? <sighs> why? I've been cucked. Khalil Mack goes to the, they outbid me? Are you shitting me? They outbid me. They well they tied my bid, I guess, in terms of total points. God dang. Delaney Walker goes to the Colts. Trevor Williams goes to the Rams. I offered more points. He just didn't care. Rashawn Melvin goes to the Eagles. Kenny Vaccaro goes to Miami with the Dolphins. Mark Ingram to the Panthers. Um that no, that's the fair offer, Eagles. That's not what he ended up getting. Ty Montgomery to the Jets, Latavius Murray to the Bills, EJ Gaines goes to the Colts, who offered the most money. Amir Abdullah goes to the Texans. Why? Why would the Texans sign him? Tyrod Taylor back to the Bills. <laughs> Henry Anderson to the Bills. Eric Reed to the Bucks. Darquez Denard to the Dolphins. Um, DRC to the Raiders. He signed there today, actually, as I record this. I can't believe I just got cocked. Everyone's saying delete save. It's online, dude. I can't delete save. It's online. What is what did Khalil Mack actually get? Because we offered him so much. That's also true. I want to change schemes before I forget. Uh, I want to see Khalil Mack's contract. That's so annoying. Oh, we have to face him twice a year now. Damn, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. So his contract is. Wait, what? Why would he go there? He's getting... Wow. 39.3 in 2024. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Oh my god. That's so much money. What if, what if we traded for him and what if we traded for him and we had the, the Redskins pay some of that contract? I might be down. I don't know. I might, I might be. <laughs> um, let's see though. As far as the team, go, we got Trent Brown. That's a big signing for us. That's a huge signing. The only problem is, like, the entire rest of the free agents that I wanted, which was Trevor Williams and Khalil Mack, declined. Oh, man. All right, let's check out scouting. So, as you guys can see, at quarterback, they're not good. None of them are good. None of them have any type of throw power. So, I can tell you... I can tell you I am not signing any one of the or trade i'm not drafting any qb this year i'm not i'm not drafting any qb i appreciate your barbour uh I'm, I'm not there's no point to draft for or draft a qb when they're not going to be even that good so i think that kyle laletta probably will be the move as we get a donation from 96 riley tips 10 bucks for the pain i appreciate you man as far as halfback goes, clearly I'm not scouting any halfback because there's no reason to. Um, fullback, no need. Wide receiver is something I've looked a lot into. And I think next season I'm going to show you guys scouting through the weeks. And I haven't really looked at like every single week. Because it takes a lot of points to check in one of these players. 4-6-2, can't really see him fit in the team. 4-6-1. It's not good speed. Our picks, we have we picked seventh overall. We have two seconds, two threes, a four, a six, and a seven. I plan on getting more. I'm telling you. I plan on getting more picks. Tight end, there's no real reason. I've done a lot of scouting into left tackle, and I found a lot of mid-round guys that make a lot of sense. 
So I probably won't be taking one high. Left guard. Douglas Combs looks pretty ridiculous. He could play right guard. Would he be worth a first round pick? Hard to say. Center, found a really good one in the third round that I like a lot. He looks pretty awesome. Right guard, we got Deontay Richardson here out of Wisconsin. Interesting. Brock Fiegels looks super solid. Ray Bowler looks really solid as well. So we have a lot of options here. I'm not going to just like force myself to take a tackle earlier. Roman Pugh is another one that looks super, super interesting for me. Appreciate the 100 cheer, by the way, W tip. Um, Roman Pugh looks really, really good. He's fast. He's very strong. His top three skills are fantastic. Roman Pugh is someone that I would really, I would look out for him. And of course, we're not opposed to drafting Pews in the first round before. Shout out to Justin. Damn, Vincent Gordon looks really good as well. We'll, we'll look at him. Right end. There was no one in here that I thought was just like super worth getting. Spencer Parsons in the third round wouldn't be awful. As far as defensive tackle goes, I didn't really look too much into these guys. It's an alright player in the in the, the uh, second round there. Run stopper. I'm really looking. Show me something athletically. That's bad. 5.6. Woo! Patrick Wright in the fourth out of Texas. Hook him horns. B block shed. B minus power moves. He's a pretty good player. Howard Flemons isn't terrible either. I just hate his last name. Uh, and again, appreciate you guys being here. I'm pissed we didn't get Khalil Mack though. That's such a buzzkill. He's one of my favorite players in the NFL, as many of you guys will know. And it's like a chance to add him to the Giants. Upsetting. As far as safeties goes, I looked a lot into these guys, and strong safety overall looked much better than free safety. I didn't really like any of the free safeties for the most part. Like, Anthony Cordell looked okay. He's super fast. Didn't know that. We're going to take a look at him. Ben Filia out of Texas. Hook'em Horns. He's all right. We'll look at him as well. I really care about speed a ton. 454 isn't... Uh, but overall, like the safeties were were not great. So it looks like Anthony Cordell probably will be our best bet. But again, we would have to spend a first rounder on him. Cornerback. I like Morris Dubose. Oh, if he ran a 427. All right, Morris. I don't mind that. We also have DeAndre Laramore. 46 speed. Ugh. Marcus Bennett, show me something. 442 is great. He's gonna be a really, really good player. It's going to be tough. This is going to be a really tough draft, guys. This is going to be a really, really tough draft because there are a lot of good players up high. Nat Nagir, 4-5-3. I don't mind that. Oscar Rado, 4-4-1. I don't mind that. He's good. 4-4-7 four, four, for Lenar, uh, Lenar Reynolds. He's all right. At outside linebacker, there are some really good options as well. Harmon Hurd is a beast. This is a really, really good player. Tajay Evans... He's decent as well. Matt Stanley, he's okay. Duncan Nash in the third round I looked at. He is ungodly slow. We're not going to watch him. He's just too bad. He's too terrible. 50440. That's unreal slow. What's going on, Drew? <laughs> yeah, Morris, goat name. Ooh, baller. Antoine Todd. Ooh, Antoine Todd. I don't love your name. But you look like a beast. Keith Snell, not great. Antoine Todd, baller, I might have to. Lawrence Bush, letting the ladies know in advance. Don't mind him. Adding another Lawrence to the Giants might not be the worst idea. So 700 plus viewers, I appreciate you guys so much. Left outside linebacker. Didn't really look into any of these guys at all. Greetings from Poland. What's up, boy? All right. Last week is scouting before the show. I'll, t I'll take a look at left outside line, but I plan on getting some high picks, guys. We're going to be moving up in the draft. 
Malik Bailey out of Idaho. So slow. Why are you so why are you this way? Don't be so slow. Come on now. Slow speed really hurts me. So now it's like it's coming down a wide receiver for the last one. I looked at a lot of the top guys. I didn't really look at any of these guys. Four five eight speed is alright. He's six six. Uh you're killing me. Four five Ooh! I'm glad I looked at this guy. Hold on. Damar Jacobs, 454 speed at six foot five. We can't really we're gonna watch him. He's a fifth round guy. He's worth taking a look at for sure. In the fifth. I'm not sure where our picks are gonna be. Honestly, I have no idea. But before the draft, I've got some faces I don't want to have sticking around for uh for year two. You. You are gone. Nate Solder is gone. The, uh, uh. Unreal. Unreal that he's still here. Trent Brown was a big signing. Defensively, uh, I'm going to try to see what I can make as far as value goes for trading these guys. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Get a QB. The QBs in the draft are bad, so I'm not going to reach for a QB just to take a QB. It would make no sense. Oh, your cap hit is annoying. Woo. We are not far off. Future 5. It's going to be a future 4. Is going to get it done, probably. Money. Money. Nate Solder. Alec Ogletree and a 2020 fourth round pick are no longer property of the New York Giants. We now have the number one overall pick. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan. What else? Might as well look at it. Since we're, since we're here. Oh, they have no interest. They have no interest. I don't blame you. He's going to have green interest somewhere, right? No? Does no one want Eli Apple? That's extremely frustrating. King of the fourth quarter comes in with the tier one sub for five months in a row. It says 700 plus? Congrats. Yeah, I, I posted on YouTube. It's a Giants franchise. It's highly, highly anticipated. I appreciate the five months in a row. Shout out to you king of the fourth what else we have christian sicoli here former defensive tackle current right guard out of buffalo you're telling me khalil mack didn't want to rejoin his teammate ridiculous jay stew's got to go jay stew needs to go jay stew darian thompson kareem martin would there be interest there How long have I been streaming? About 45. Jay Stu. Darian Stewart is terrible, so we, I can't have him. And uh, Kareem Martin. Is there any team... Okay, we have, a, we have a couple teams with interest in Darian Thompson and Kareem Martin. Green interest. So we have the Cardinals. Cardinals have a, the uh, 14th overall. That's not bad. And the Rams have interest in Kareem Martin. They they won the Super Bowl, so they don't really care. That's not a great pick to have anyway. And the Bengals. What do the Bengals want? All right. Jonathan Stewart, Kareem Martin, and a future three gets me the number 10 overall pick from the Cincinnati Bengals. And if Darian Thompson could net me a second round pick, I'd be just over the moon. Second round pick from the Cardinals. No. Is there any other team with interest in Darian Thompson? Is it just the Cardinals? It is. 
What would I take? What could I get? Buddha Baker? Buddha Baker could be a fun one. They're not really liking that too much. Justin Pugh, get him back. Not really down for that. Rosen, no way. What does a future one look like? I can do a future two. I can do a future two, I think. It's going to be Darian Thompson. What a disaster we have at wide receiver right now. Um, just throw in Jordan Lasley. All right. Darian Thompson and Jordan Lasley gets me a future two from the Cardinals. 750 plus. Damn. Terrell Basham is not bad. Oh, man, I hate I hate just even fucking looking at his face. All right, draft time. So we hold the number one overall pick. We are going to pause the clock, and we're going to think about this for a minute. So Vincent Gordon's all right. Howard Russell is a good player. 4-4-2 speed at 6-2. But I can't, I can't take him number one overall. Next up, we're looking at Roman Pugh. Roman Pugh is a player that I would really like to add to the team. Like, really, really would like to add him to the team. Question is, how far can I move down before he isn't available anymore? I picked seventh overall. I think the Seahawks would probably be my limit. We're going to try to make a move with the Broncos, though. What do the Broncos have? So the Broncos own the second overall pick, a two and a three. The Titans hold about the same. What do the Seahawks have? The Seahawks also have Earl Thomas. That's the wild card here. Is the Seahawks have Earl Thomas? He, he's down to a 91. I'm not really interested. Hook him horns. I love him. Can't really, can't really do that. Uh, Titans? Who picks two? Broncos? Bradley Chubb would be cool. I can't really do that, though. What about a future two? That makes it done. All right. The number one overall pick in a future two gets me a one and a two this year and a one next year. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. The Broncos at number one go with Ryan Flannery, a left end out of Notre Dame. Can we now hold the number two overall pick? The one player I don't want to go off the board is Roman Pugh. That's why it's so dicey. So now I hold the number two overall pick. We got more talent. What is Kevin Byard looking like? He's looking like a 26-year-old 90 overall that's going to be a free agent pretty soon. A six and a seven. Please just accept. They're going to accept. A one, a six, and a seven this year gets me a one and a two this year from the Titans and a one next year. Uh, that's pretty baller. Malik, Malik Harker would be sick. Vincent Gordon goes at number two out of Clemson. I'm not chancing it. I'm not chancing it. I'm taking the player I want. That's going to be Roman Pugh out of UCLA. Welcome to the New York Football Giants. 82 overall star development. He's a beast. The number two player in the class with star development. He will not be wearing number 77. 86 power move. 79 speed, 88 strength. 73 block shed could use some work. But he is a pure power rusher. Very excited about that. And um, that's a pretty good rookie to get. That's a pretty good rookie. <laughs> I reached. Oh, yeah, dude. They really need to improve that, that glitch because it's very annoying. He's only 22. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a lot. Next pick is going to be Corey Washington. Defensive tackle out of Wisconsin. Seahawks are going to take Ty Earl Trap, also out of Wisconsin. What is their defensive line? Back-to-back -back defensive tackles out of Wisconsin go. Can they have anybody else? 
on the D-line. No, just those two stud defensive tackles, apparently. Yeah, damn, almost 800 viewers. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, that was Ty Earl. The Bills go Asa McDonald, wide receiver out of Georgia. Is this wideout still on the board? Howard Russell is still on the board. We also have uh, Anthony Cordell. Be a really solid free safety to get. He looks like a beast. Also, Morris Dubose, I know. Another Nebraska first-round pick cornerback for the Giants. Uh, you guys remember Prince of Mucamara? I'm likely not trading for Teddy Bridgewater. Morris Dubose is really solid. Would I take him here at number seven? Well, that depends. That depends on a lot. I don't want Howard Russell right now because I see down the board like there's guys like Parker Kuhn too slow actually Bennett Cadu is too slow Randall Hartman Randall Hartman's kind of nice what the hell huh see mm. that's why trading down in the first round would be so big for me Actually, you know, I'm going to take Morris Dubose here. Morris Dubose, cornerback out of Nebraska. Great top three skills. 4-2-7 speed. Very strong. Very agile. Very athletic. And, you know, talented cornerback. Morris Dubose is the pick here. Ah, yikes. Oh! <laughs> He's an 85 overall. I'm going to throw up over my mic. Oh, man. Oh, we got, we got guys in the chat saying he's not going to be good. Let's see you guys. Oh, hashtag whoops. Whoops. Oh, man. He's disgusting. Number one overall player in the draft. 85 overall. Quick development. 98 speed. 86 man. 77 zone. I think he got Dante Dion's number. We're going to change that. 97 excel. 85 press. 87 jumping. 70 tackle. 80 strength. He is unbelievably good. <laughs> he is unbelievably good. This is Champ Bailey, by the way. If you guys, like, not exactly because Champ Bailey was six feet tall, if I believe. But insane speed out of the draft. Just absolutely insane speed. He Champ Bailey, I believe, is six flat. Yeah, six feet, 192. So he's a little bit smaller. Great same abilities though. This is a really good player. <laughs> oh man. Morris Dubose, cornerback out of Nebraska at number seven. Tavares Hasty goes at number nine to the Panthers. Howard Russell is still on the board. So this begs the question: who would I prefer at wide receiver? Howard Russell. 4-4-2 speed, great vertical at a UCLA. Or another California kid. Randall Hartman. 4-5-1 speed. Way taller. Potentially better skills. Who would you guys prefer in the chat? Randall Hartman or Howard Russell? Not saying that either one of those guys would be the pick. But I'm curious as to who you guys would say. I'm not done at cornerback. Marcus Bennett, I want to be on the team. I'm going to trade this pick down. I got to trade it down. Got to trade it down. I'd rather have a mid-round pick. We don't pick for a while. I'm not, like, guys, they're better receivers. or not necessarily better. But if we go to make your selection, it seems like everyone wants Russell Hartman or Randall Hartman. Fuck, their names are so close. Randall Hartman, but like Thomas Hendricks out of Pitt is not terrible, but really the guy that I'm looking at is DeMar Jacobs and this, it does this not look like Randall Hartman to you guys? Looks like the same player Looks similar Randall Hartman would be cool I'd like to trade down with the Packers That's my ideal situation Trade is done it's uh, the 10th overall pick. 
a two this year and a two next year for two first round picks from the Packers. I, I know that seems weird. That's a weird trade. I feel like these have pretty much exactly the same value in general, like combined together. I would, but for me right now, I would rather have two first round picks in the middle of the draft than this number 10 overall pick. And the second next year, when I've already got a bunch of value next year, and I can trade some of these second round picks for future ones. That's where I am. So we'll see who's still on the board at 18. Derek Lane, receiver out of Louisville goes, which means Randall Hartman likely is gone. He is, but Howard Russell's here. Why is no one taking him? He's the number one player in the draft. Like he was, he was ranked number one. Why is no one taking him? Why do you have slow development? He's very fast and he can jump a lot. I'm going to take him here. Howard Russell out of USC. Quick development, 79 overall. It was certainly the right pick. He's ranked number 12 in the entire draft. Quick development's not bad. 93 speed, 94 spectacular catch. 83 catching, 81 catching traffic, 82 short, 81 medium, 70 deep route running, 96 jumping, 85 release. He's a pretty good player. 82 break tackle, 80 spin move as well. He's really good. I don't mind that at all. That's a really good third receiver to add to the mix. Wearing Eli's number. Oh yeah, I didn't realize he's wearing number 10. All right, next pick at 26. I'm really hoping the other cornerback's there. There goes Harmon Hurd. That one hurts a lot. Uh, that one hurts a lot. Really, really was going to think about drafting him. And the other cornerback is gone too. Marcus Bennett, who I wanted. Why would it not happen? Let me, let me have it. Let me do it. Scared white kid with the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. All right, it's going to be a one and a two for a top 10 projected pick next year from the bears i don't mind that at all no one really on the board that i wanted so might as well simulate to the second round we have a first round next year now from the bears who suck so it's pretty good for us my sleep schedule <laughs> no problem man happy to happy to keep you awake appreciate the donation as well matt stanley 486 speed here in the second round i think i'm just gonna i'd rather Ooh, hold on Ellis offered out of Nebraska is not bad. 4-7 speed is not exactly where I want it to be. But he's agile and strong. He's got good traits. Ellis offered, I'm going to watch. Corbin Myers is not terrible. He's also not amazing. Let me see my draft board. So, I mean, I have Tajay Evans. Why? There's this, the 486 speed scares me. Am I not taking a quarterback this draft? I don't plan on it, if I'm being honest. I have a lot of players watched here in the fourth round. I'm probably going to take these picks. Um, the question is who do we want? Thomas Hendricks. I've drafted a receiver. I probably don't want him right now. There are a bunch of fours. I don't really have to move it down so much now because we're not there yet. Uh, a lot of these players in the fourth are really good. But the question is, do I want any of these guys up here? So we have Tajay Evans. Hurry up and draft someone. Why don't you slow your roll, guy? Have a little patience. Be older than 12 and develop an attention span. 486 speed. Hmm... I don't love 486. Corbin Myers, defensive tackle. He's very strong. He block sheds well. He fits the the with the uh the scheme. However, I think I might even change that. So what do I need personnel wise? Damn, I don't really I don't really like any of these guys. Didn't draft O-line yet? Um, no, the, be the better O-line is uh, later. That, why is that? That actually is not bad. That's a three and a four next year and a three this year. 
That's a two next year and a three this year. I'm going to trade with Dallas. I know it's interdivisional trading. That's kind of weird. But I like what they offered. Matt Stanley. Florida A&M. You need linemen? I, 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 we're in a good spot. All right. There are linemen later. I want this center pretty bad. I might, I'm going to take him now, actually. Actually, Ellis offered 477. That decent speed. 477 is not terrible. We're going to take him. Ellis offered 77 overall, quick development. Going to be a good linebacker for us. 86 tackle, 84 hit power, 78 speed, 87 excel, 83 block shed, 65 zone coverage and terrible. He's just not that fast. 88 agility, super high. I think that's an okay pick. I think that's an okay pick. Quick development's not terrible either. Ooh, I don't pick again until... Alright, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I almost wish I would have taken the center. Here goes Devontae Everett at Charleston. Yes, the center's here. Alright, we're taking him. Not messing around. Logan Robeson out of A&M. 6'2", 293. But he has insane speed for a center. He's extremely agile. He's very strong. He's got great top three skills. He's going to be a good player. And he is. 78 overall. Quick development. Ranked number 22 in the class. Of course, great third round pick here. 86 strength. 76 run block. But hallelujah. 85 pass block. Oh, uh, maybe I'll actually have time in the pocket. Unbelievable. Good pick. I can't complain about this. Good center. Really solid player. I want Antoine Todd, too. I'm going to take Antoine Todd now. I don't know anything about him other than he skipped the combine and he has great top three skills. But he hates Roger Goodell, so I'm down. 22 years old, great top three skills. We're going with the baller, Antoine Todd. Ugh, yikes. Like... Not bad for the selection. Just, he's not a stud. He does have 82 speed. 85 tackle, 83 block shit, 80 hit power, 87 pursuit, 70 zone coverage. He's actually pretty good. 75 catching. Could this be the new user? It's not terrible. I don't like... Look at his numbers and like look where he's bad. Like, awareness. Awareness. That's it. This isn't a bad pick. He can't rush the passer, but he's decently fast. He's got good skills, and his awareness and play record low. I'm fine with that. 74 overall, yeah, whatever. I'm not really worried about overall when they're, I'm going to be playing the games. You know? I can't I can't complain about that. Patrick Wright out of Texas is, is a good player. Lawrence Bush, 4-8-2. None of these linebackers were particularly fast. Malik Bailey's slow as hell. I think I'm going to go Eric Faison here. I need to tackle. 76 overall, normal. 89 strength, 76 run block, 80 pass block. 68 impact blocking, 77 lead block. He's got high pass block finesse, high pass block power. He's a good pass blocker. It's kind of what we needed. 76 overall. Wish his development was better than normal, but he's number 46 in the class. Uh, it's certainly an upgrade. I want this wide receiver to be available in the fourth. That's where I am. There goes Hanson Schilling out of Ole Miss. What is here? Brenton Hayden. I'm going to go DeMar Jacobs. He's got decent speed. We know his top three skills are pretty good. He's a guy that's off the radar. It's a fourth round. He's a 78 overall quick development. Ranked number 23 in the class. Killing it. 86 speed is not great, admittedly. But 86 uh, medium route running is great. 92 short route running, great. 71 spectacular catch isn't fantastic, but good catching, good catching traffic, good release. Uh, pretty good agility. I mean, it, he's, he's a top... He's a top 30 pick. Top 25 pick. First round player in the fourth round. The reach meter is broken. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> so I have no picks remaining. Is there anyone on the draft board currently that I can't pass on? 
Max Osborne seems kind of average. We're going to remove him from our draft board. Nat the gear at a BYU. 4-5-3 speed. Pretty good top three skills, if I'm being honest, for cornerback. Oscar Rado, 4-4-1. He's a little bit worse. We're going to take him off the board. Brenton Hayden, we're going to take him off the board. J.W. Hilton, he's pretty good. Patrick Wright is also pretty good. And then Lawrence Bush is also pretty good. Um, these are four players that I would like to have, if possible. The question is, what can we do to acquire said picks to draft these players? That's really where it's going to be. So we have a ton of picks next year. What would it be worth to me to acquire a ton of mid-round picks? I mean, that's, that's really what it's going to come down to. Because I have, I have four ones, I have a two, and then it, there's a significant drop-off. So ideally, the Bears would be the team to trade with here. They have two fourths and a five. Question is, what could I give here? I'm going to try it too. I don't think the value is going to be there. It's going to be close though. All right, trade accepted. A two, a five, and a six next year gets me a two fours this year and a five. I, I'm not going to trade a first to get two fours. Let's, let's take it easy. Because I'm not confident I can even get all these players anyway. They might not be on the board. Yeah, see, two of them are gone. Bush is gone. I'm going to go Patrick right here. He's got good top three skills. And guys, remind you, these are going to be backups. That's what we're trading for here. We're trading for backups. So a 73 overall player here, that's fine range for me, especially when he has 85 strength, 83 block shed, and 81 power moves with 71 speed as a defensive tackle. This is a good pick for me. It's worth the trade up. In my opinion. Oh, I have, a, I have a pick here. But really, what I'm excited for is Nat DeGear. He looks very good. 4-5-3 speed. Fantastic top three skills for a cornerback. Six feet. He's going to be a 75 overall. Ranked number 66. So he is a second round pick. He's a second round pick. So we traded a future two to get a second round pick caliber player here. Nat DeGear, 89 speed, 76 man, 82 zone, 83 press. Uh, decent tackling. Decent awareness. I'm down. I'm down for this. 89 speed isn't incredible, but it's also not bad. So I'm, I'm down. 74 overall, ranked number 79 in the class. He has 82 strength, 82 run block. He is a run block specialist if I've ever seen one. 72 pass block is low. Good lead block, good impact blocking. 72 speed's not bad. Hmm, he looks like more of a guard. That's going to be the draft, though. I'm excited to see some of these players that we didn't take. I'm, I'm excited to see how good they are. <laughs> Younger Nate Solder? Yo, for real. All right, so I, I forgot about some of the guys up near the top already. So bad draft overall for the Jaguars. Jets. Jets got Anthony Cordell, who we were looking at. Star development, 82 overall for free safety, 93 speed, 81 zone, 81 hit power, 80 tackle, 84 man. He's pretty good. He is pretty damn good. Of course, hybrid style. I'm not pissed that we didn't get him, though, because I think we got other... Better players, Duncan Nash, Nick Akins, good value. Just had a pretty good class. Lions, though. Did they not get the... I thought they got heard. Packers took Deontay Richardson. Patriots, or excuse me, Panthers got Tavares Hasty. Or, Dice of Panthers. Patriots got a new quarterback, Shedrick Gritton. This was the number one QB in the class. And he just is not that good. Like, this would have been what we what we got. It's a small upgrade over Kyle Laletta. So, I'm not down for that. Raiders, Lee Watts. Star, 82 overall. He wasn't really on my radar too much. But, okay, honestly, I know this sounds crazy. If you look at him, 
he looks really similar to the linebacker that we got in terms of like ability in Ellis Offord. He looks super, super similar. He looks really, really close. Or actually, Antoine Todd, it might have been. Antoine Todd's a 74 overall. Look, look at speed, tackle, block shit, hit power, pursuit. Look at all those numbers. Look at all those numbers. And let's go back to, was it the Raiders? Let's go back to Lee Watts, who's an 82 overall. Are his numbers in general that much better? They don't look like it to me. They don't. They don't look that much better. Appreciate the host, uh, Tui. They don't... They, they look like, like so similar. So I'm not mad about Todd as a pick. Randall Hartman. This is, this is Randall Hartman. He has quick development. 79 overall. 89 speed. 80 catching, 84 catching traffic, 91 spec catch, 86 short rounding. Did we get a better receiver? I don't think... Is Randall Hartman not as good as Howard Russell? Same development. You know, I feel like I'd probably rather have Howard Russell, if I'm being honest. I feel like I would. Appreciate the host, Dimu. Ty Earl, and they got Dalton Mason. Seahawks had a really, really solid draft class. Cedric Ross. This is who we are considering taking at strong safety at the end of the first. 88 speed, 76 zone, 81 man, 81 hit power. He's pretty good. He would have been a solid pick for us. Uh, but with Landon Collins, I'm not really sure how that would have worked, so I'm not mad that we missed out on him. Titans. Vincent Gordon, eh. Vikings took Douglas Combs, good left guard. Bears, Bennett Cadu. Ramel Covington. Bills got McDonald. Ryan Flannery was the number one overall pick. He's, eh. Browns did okay. DeAndre Larimore, someone that we looked at a lot. Quick development. Uh, he's pretty, he's okay. He's not anything crazy. Cardinals took a safety. Ben Filio out of Texas. Normal development to be. He's an 81 overall, 87 speed, 74 zone, 81 man, 81 hit power. Wasn't going to draft him. I don't really like his stats, to be honest. Chargers. This is a player I wanted a lot. Harmon Hurd. Quick development. Okay, so it's not, it's not crazy. 86 tackle, 90 hit power, 81 speed. Tui with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Appreciate the new sub. It's been a crazy night tonight, guys. I appreciate y'all being here. And um, Harmon Hurd is a good player. I thought, like, I don't know, 80 overall made it seem like he's a lot better than he is. I'm okay. Like, I think Antoine Todd is on the same level. Chiefs, I'm really looking for... Uh, what was the name of the corner that I wanted? That I didn't get. Bennett. Something Bennett. No superstar to have this draft? Uh, yeah, I don't think we got it. I'm, I'm sure there are. But it, they made it such a rare trait nowadays. Because it should be. Parker Coon's a player we looked at. Quick development. Falcons took Larvery Harold. 49ers took Marcus Bennett. This is the cornerback I wanted a lot. Star development. Ah, oh, he's so He looks like he's going to be a beast. 92 speed, 82 man, 82 zone, 80 press. He's really good. Not a lot of block shed to him. He's really, he's super solid. Wish we would have drafted him, but uh, he went off the board a few picks before we picked again. They had a pretty good draft, but let's go back over our draft class. We started off with Roman Pugh. Star development. 81 overall. I guess 82. He's playing. He is. Why do you have lower confidence? You just got drafted. Why? <laughs> 85 power move. I mean, that's 86. 79 speed. 81 tackle. 88 strength. 84 pursuit. 86 hit power. He's a pretty good player. And then we drafted the number one overall player in the class. Morris Dubose. Quick development out of Nebraska. 
98 speed, 86 man, 77 zone, 85 press. He's a really good player. 80 strength as well. He's just an absolute monster. And we're going to change numbers and stuff. Howard Russell, we'd follow it up with. We obviously have the best draft class. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll, we'll check for undrafted free agents. Big 69. The hell was his name? Ellis Offord. Pretty good player overall. We did really, really well, obviously. But we had a lot of picks. So, I mean, we should have. Yeah, we're going to be playing the preseason. Let's go ahead and simulate two. The start of the next season. Let's check free agency. All right, so is there anyone good that we missed out? PJ Williams is someone we might want to sign. Kevin Johnson, rip. 26, Eric Rowe. I'm looking for young players. It doesn't appear to be anyone crazy. Are there no undrafted free agents we can look at? Why would that be? There, there are none in the top 100 is why. Yeah, Jamar Wiggins. Big 69, that was his name. Jamar Wiggins. So, let's go over the team. We've drafted Eric Faison. He'll start at right tackle for sure. And then, draft a new center. Hilton might play right guard. He looks more like a guard. He has decent speed. He's a primary run blocker. What would he be at right guard? Because if we drafted a starter in the fourth round, and I know, granted, our O-line kind of sucks, so it's not like he's an amazing player. He goes up to a 75 overall. The O-line is much improved. A wide receiver... Howard Russell, Sterling Shepard, Odell Beckham Jr. You got Saquon Barkley. Kyle Laletta will be the starter for season number two. Defensively, I'm, I'm considering some changes. Pew, I guess, will start at 3-4 left end. 6-5, 274. What do you offer? He's not a great block shutter. Morris DuBose, Janoris Jenkins, Eli Apple. E Eli Apple's got to get moved. I have to trade him. <laughs> I have to trade him. Am I going to relocate? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> Tell me there's interest in Eli Apple around the league. Was I going to change the scheme? Uh, I still plan on it. Maybe. Damon Harrison, Olivia Vernon could be traded. They won't be, though. Should you get AJ McCarron? Shouldn't, actually. It's not a good idea. Huh. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this out in my head. So Lorenzo Carter. Ooh. No, we kind of have to stick with what we have. I thought about moving to a 4-6. Like base defense. Like be 4-3 base and then be 4-6. So we'd run in mainly. So uh, it's not about scheme fit at that point. Um, I hate the Giants defensive playbook. I really don't like it. I'm looking at the defense. I'm trying to figure out where everybody would look. But I think with our current guys, I think Antoine Todd's just going to start. And then we have Ellis Offord, who's just on the team. What do you offer me? <laughs> Get it? 78 speed. I think this is probably where we're going to send out. Pew. Move Eli Apple to safety and try to trade him. We do need a free safety pretty bad. What would Eli Apple's overall go to? He doesn't really have the zone coverage, which is tough. That might hurt his overall.
He goes up to a 75. So down one. <laughs> he goes up down to a 75. But what do you have value now? I don't want Eli Apple. Our cornerbacks are fine now. Please tell me there's any team in the NFL that wants him. Oh, the Panthers. The Panthers want him. What do you what do you have? Keekly, no. McCaffrey, no. Cam Newton, no. Devin Funches, no. DJ Moore, no. I'll trade him for a fourth round pick. That's where I am right now. I will trade him for a fourth. Eli Apple's gone. Good riddance. Try and use offered in something else for Bjar Dog Hooker. Are oh, you saying trade offered? Eli Apple goes to the Panthers for a fourth round pick. I am I will not miss him. Now we lost one Eli due to retirement. This one is less bittersweet. So Offer's going to have some value with some teams. Could we package him in for Kevin Byard? Almost certainly not. Is that less? Why do they want Earl Thomas so bad? Because, guys, because Ellis Offord is a 4-3 linebacker. He's a 4-3 outside linebacker. Olivier Vernon is a defensive end, essentially. He, he fits. Why would, it, why would I trade him when he fits? Offord does not fit with what we're doing here. We have our two middle linebackers, and then we have our edge rushers. Ellis Offord does not work. Yo, we could totally get Kevin Byard. I just have to part ways with a first. And maybe a bit more. Yo, we could totally do this. Switch schemes. Is that Malik Hooker? No interest. Mad unrealistic. This is my franchise. Go make your own if you want something else to happen. You have personnel for a 4-3. Only kind of, though. Only kind of. Like, Offord would make sense in the 4-3. But then, two defensive tackles. OV would not have a spot. This is essentially what it would come down to. You guys really want Olivier Vernon gone that badly? His contract's real bad, and he's older at this point. I get that. Uh, this would this would really this would make me change to a four six, which I would like. Uh, I love Olivier Vernon is one of my favorite players. We're gonna. We're just gonna see. What is the overall at defensive end? Eighty-five. I don't want it. <laughs> so, all right. Let's see how this would look. Let's just see how it would look in a four-three. I would. I could get Obi. Okay, there it is. There's a new starting free safety. Obi Melifonwu. Future third round pick gets him. Obi Melifonwu. 
So with Obi, if you guys don't know, 25 years old, six foot three, 92 speed, 86 hit power, 70 zone. He will play free safety. Also, I do want to change numbers. He sucked in the 49ers franchise. That's right. We got we got OB in 49ers franchise briefly. I forgot about that. All right. Time to change numbers. Pew is wearing... 96. I don't mind 96. What are my other options? 97, 99... He's going to wear 99. Smoke visor. I feel like I like... I like no visor. I like no visor. Ever play football? Yeah, I played in high school. Played wide out. Too much white when you're away. Oh, the, dude, all whites. I'm so down for that. And then uh, last player we're going to touch. How does Nat DeGear look? What do you look like? I'm fine with that. Fifty-two for Ellis Offord. He looks fine as well. I don't really feel like changing anything there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this preseason game. Should we do play the moments or should we do full game? I think we're gonna play the moments. We're up to an 83 overall now. We need we got dreads. We got Ellis Offord has dreads. I'm not trading for a QB. I forgot to change specialists. Oh, look at the offensive line. Look at the offensive line blocking. Unreal. When's the next victorious? I don't know. We got ja Jacobs. Who is Jacobs? We got Russell, Evan Ingram, Sterling Shepard. Russell's far to the right. I'm going to give him a shot. Oh, hell yeah. Howard Russell. Go up and get it. That's a 94 spectacular catch going to work. 94 spectacular catch. Jacobs with the... Oh, yeah. He was actually pretty good. I kind of forgot about him. Dude, I might, I might just throw a fade here to Russell. Just see if he can haul it in. Woo! Not bad. If he would have caught that, that would have been insane. This is the draft class. I skipped it. We'll see it again at some point. You guys already know I'm, I'm going to be feeding Russell a lot. I'm down to give him another jump ball. God, haul one in. I'm not really playing a win here, guys. I'm just playing to, like, get guys' looks and things like that. Wow. I thought that was open. Mick Fitzpatrick made an incredible play on the ball. I would have loved to look at that again. All right. Third down. The defense coming out now. Let's try some 4-6. Jarrell Adams. That's a good touch pass. Davis Webb, low-key killing it besides the overthrow. Where's Laletta? This is preseason. So it's the second quarter, so he's out of the game. I probably should get him more reps. Like Odell's in the game, because I need I need to sign players. I need to sign players really badly. Because Odell should not be in the game right now. <laughs> Why is Odell in the game? I need more personnel. All right, let's go ahead. Injury off, pre-existing injury off. There's an injury. Tell me it's nobody important. No player. I guess not. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, nobody's there. One new injury. Oh, who? Uh, nobody. All right. Yeah, great. That's a great joke, Madden. Mike Wallace is here. Brian Nails, rookie. Welcome. That's a massive contract. <laughs> That's the minimum I can sign him for. Two games an episode next season. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. Um, is there anyone here close to a 70? Anthony favorite. Do I have a fullback even? I wish you would tell me what I have on my roster currently. Sean Erickson, welcome. Oh, Justin Hardy out of ECU. I'm down for that. He was good there too. That's actually gonna be a player that probably makes our final roster. Mario Kowalski. Ooh, Tracy Wallace is a 71. He's not terrible. We'll sign him. Caesar Mack. We'll also sign him. Ricky Seals Jones is here. Brian Jenkins, 71 overall. He's a blocker, I'm down. Okay, let's look at the current team. So we should have a lot more depth now. So we're not gonna have these random backups playing. Wide receiver, we have a lot more depth. Halfback, I need I need to sign another another halfback probably. I have more than enough depth there. Left tackle, we're fine. Left guard, I need a backup center. He could actually, the fullback we just signed could be, or the tight end we just signed could be a fullback. We do have a fullback already, we just signed. But Bryant Jenkins, what is your speed? Because run block is not bad. He's not a great lead blocker, which could hurt. What's your speed? I pass it? 64, he's really, he's just not good at anything. That's just terrible speed. <laughs> Left end, it's not great depth. Right end, we're okay. D tackle, we're fine. Could use some more linebackers, could use another corner. And we're fine at safety. Okay, so back up center. Why not? need a left end and I'm not signing anyone that's not a rookie these are we got some old-ass rookies here Zach for war I don't want to say your name so no Naquan Lynch welcome <laughs> let's see uh, where is it left outside linebacker Joshua Perry he was sick in one of my series that I did a while ago. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nate Benson's a 70 overall rookie. 
Not that fast, though. We're going to sign him anyway. Final cuts is going to be interesting this year. Sign Moses, Christian. Trade for Khalil Mack, it could happen in real life. Like, it could. But also, in the game, he just signed a massive, massive, massive contract. Rayel Whirl. All right. Daniel Broussard as well. It's, not, it's another cornerback. Can't hurt. All right. So we have depth now. That's a cool thing. We're going to play the moments again. I don't want to upload a, like a three-hour video, but I might have to. Someone on Twitter. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter. I'm about to read something, uh, or excuse me, retweet something. That's just, fuck. <laughs> uh, that's just unreal. The guy's draft pick's name is Bjork Pork the <laughs> Third. That may be the best name I've ever seen. Bjork Pork the <laughs> Third. That is the funniest name I've ever seen. Bjork Pork the Third. <laughs> Unreal. Here we go. Third down. We're jumping in. I should play the first quarter. Because we actually get to see the starters, which is all anybody cares about. Beckham, Shepard, Russell, Barkley. Third and eight. I could run the ball, but then again, I can't run the ball, so I'm not going to. Odell! Odell lays out! Why are we both wearing blue? Odell Beckham Jr. What are you guys, sword fighting? This is not help perpetuate the meme that Odell might be swinging for the other team. Now he goes in sword fights. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> that was cool. I didn't really find anything I liked there. Oh, damn. Okay. So, <laughs> what happened here is, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. I switched on to Dubose, and he is so fast that I just, I overran it so badly. <laughs> oh, my God. 98 speed is going to be fun. We might have him return kicks. Oh, great pressure. Avery Moss gets to the quarterback. You guys believe it? We're sending heat and we're actually getting to the QB. This is unreal. How did Jacobs drop the ball? Unreal. Chat's going to freak out about this. <laughs> what a monster. <laughs> yeah, tough as nails. Let's see this team celebration. All right, not going to do one. All right, here we go. Game in the line. Who's out here? Thompson, Broussard. Nat DeGear is who I'm looking at to make a play. 
Oh, man. It's her backup, so I'm not going to get mad. Are they really trying to win this game? That offensive lineman's trying to recover it like it's a fumble. That's how stupid some of these backups are. They don't even know what spiking the ball is. Let's see if anything gets open here. X is wide open, but we're going to go deep. Incomplete. And that is the ball game. I think... I think we probably pretty much got the taste for the rookies here. Um, we're going to end it with a raid. If you guys watch the whole thing, I appreciate you guys follow if you're new. And um, you're going to see the preseason cuts in episode one for season two. Saquon has an upgrade. We're not going to spend that right now. So you will see who makes the final team in next episode, which will be on YouTube. This will be on YouTube as well, but later. But thank you guys for watching. 14 players will be cut. These are some of the names that you might see off the team. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, we're going to go ahead and perform a raid of sorts here.